So I'm joined now by Mr. Stephen Cross, uh, popularly known as Tross on forums and, and other places, who's one of the uh, key members of the committee at Hammers United and was heavily involved with putting together what was an incredibly well attended march today. What are your thoughts? Well, initially, Graham, I'm uh, I'm I'm really really pleased that we could get all the West Ham family out together. You know, yet again, we were able to demonstrate some of West Ham's finest up on the Greenway today, as well as families, women, children five six year old kids holding up GSB out banners and ultimately those are the people we're doing it for it's not just for us it's for the generations that are already losing their connections but the future generations that we're trying to make sure have still got a legacy of a football club left do you think they will take notice over there we're looking now at the Olympic Stadium which is directly behind where we're standing uh, we, we think there's between five and seven thousand people we're here today do you think they're going to take any notice of, of what's happened well you know it's interesting you know I, th- I think you've got to you've got to look at the um, you've got to look at the machine at West Ham and the way it tries to maintain control it's determined continually to control the narrative which is something we've discussed at committee level at Amazon United for a good period of time fundamentally under a year ago there were 120 of us put together at the Plasto Club by bubbles. He pulled us all in together and said, we've got to do something, we've got to change something. And that's when I got involved. And nobody wanted to listen to us. We wrote to UEFA, we wrote to the DCMS, we've written to MPs, we've engaged everybody, we've worked closely with the FSA, we've done everything the right way to try and get engagement. And the club wouldn't speak to us. On the lead up to our last demonstration, where we had a few thousand there, everybody was talking about, you know, will they talk, will they listen? And off the back of that, it was a tipping point. The attitude changed. And I think for the first time, the introspection started in and around the club, the top end of the club. And that introspection almost kind of hit a, uh, hit, hit a pinnacle with the Sunday Supplement article and the conversations that were discussed by journos about what are the failings of a regime that's now been in control for a decade. And those failings after being challenged by the popular press in the fourth estate, West Ham decided to go legal. That was the biggest mistake they ever could have made. But unfortunately, typical of the regime that's run by Lady Karen Rita Brady at our club. And what you tend to find is, when somebody's trying to shut everything down and they're trying to control everything, you have to wonder why that is. And that's normally because of fear and an inability that they have. And that's the challenge that we've got. It's not a case of whether or not they're going to listen to us. It's a case now that everybody is looking at them. Everybody now is actually looking at the metrics, looking at the record. What have they delivered in the last 10 years, Graham? What success have they delivered? Where is our world-class football team? We have a world-class athletic stadium that still doesn't feel like home to us. What's in the trophy cabinet? What have they ever delivered in football to anybody's trophy cabinet? At Birmingham, when they were there and they talk about the great success they left, the trophies arrived after they went. Perhaps what we need to fill up our trophy cabinet here is what most of the five to 7,000 people that came out here today wanted, and that's for them to go. We want them out, we want them to name their price, we want them to leave, we want them to go, and maybe then we can start getting ourselves on a trajectory for success. I had a chat with LBC earlier today, and they asked me that question that you just raised there. Do you think there is any chance of them going? Do you think these protests will have any success? Uh, you're obviously getting the numbers now. We've, you've gone from 1,000 or 2,000 or, or 200, as Talksport Talk said, to, to Liverpool. There <laughs> good was old uh, Moose. <laughs> yeah, good old, our friend Moose, who's probably enjoying the, uh, the uh, West Ham pies. Pie, another free pie and mash, Moose. <laughs> right another now. Free pie and mash. Five to 7,000 today, we think, Paul suggested when he was speaking earlier. What's next for Hammers United? So we, we continue, you know, we wake up tomorrow. This isn't the kind of group or organisation as people can see by the progress we've made over the past year that's going to sit back on its laurels. We've already been planning our next two protests for the last three or four weeks. We're, we, we are determined to deliver change to this club. And you can see that the G, the OSB meeting, originally it was due to be put together, that's now been cancelled. The club are now trying to work their way in at the back end with the FSA to try and look to try and re, reinforce this failed OSB and supporter engagement. You want to talk to your supporters, you're over there. You're all of about 1,500 yards away from me and five to 7,000 of your own. Come and talk to us. We're the people who represent the club. You know, come and talk to us, but don't talk to us and tell us about what you're going to try and change. Come and talk to us and tell us about your exit plan. Talk to us about how you're going. Is that it? As far as the OSB are concerned, we we know the club have tried to channel you through there, through that construct consistently over the last few months. Are you still absolutely determined that you will not have any truck whatsoever with that uh, organisation? Well, as it stands at the moment, you've got to look at I'd, 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 I'd maybe reframe the question. Why would Hammers United, which now represents over 12,500 West Ham fans, look to engage with an OSB construct that the club built by the club, for the club, that the club won't even engage with? 
the club cancels its meetings. Cameron Brady makes promises to meet small children who have got grievances at meetings and then cancels them. If the club won't meet them, why the bloody hell should we, Graham? And finally, the weather's turned out to be pretty damn good today. We worried all week that it was going to be rather wet and windy and the, the clouds kind of opened just before you guys left Plasto. Does it give you the impression that someone's looking down and smiling upon, upon well, you? Well, as, as, many, as many will know, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Newham boy through and through. I went to St Bonaventures and I am a lapsed Catholic. But I did have a, I did put in a, I did put, I did go to confession. I booked a couple of days <laughs> off this week, said a few prayers, went through the rosary. And it looks like the man upstairs has been kind to us and we got a good day out. And I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased for the West Ham family to have taken this opportunity to voice how it really feels while the world was watching. You sound like you need a drink now, so I'm going to bid you farewell and allow you to disappear. But uh, any final words for the for the West Ham support following today's protest? Just keep your eyes open. Watch for what we're doing on Twitter. Watch for us on the website. Go through all the new, all through the normal independent channels. Knees up, Mother Brown, and the like. Keep your eyes open. We'll be out for the next one. We are now on a mission. We are on a mission to get them to leave the club. Let's make ourselves heard. Let's make ourselves bigger. Let's come back bigger and better again next time round and have another great day out in the sunshine. Thank you all for your support. Joss, thank you very much for your time.